I'm Geraldine McCorkle and I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Like many college students, moving away from home was a struggle for McCorkle. Moving away from my parents um, was really hard. <laughs> um, so coming here and being by myself was kind of a big change. But uh, like, like we all say, our team is our family. And I think with, uh, with this team right now, it's, it's really easy to lean on them in hard times. During your time in Moscow, McCorkle has continuously put in the hard work and effort to keep improving her game. I think our coaches have helped me a lot. Um, and I think working on my game outside of basketball, like in the off season, um, and just hard work, I don't know, just getting up extra shots, I always shoot after practice, um, and just putting in, the, putting in the effort so that the hard work can be seen on the court. Through her hard work, McCorkle has moved into the top 10 in five different school categories and is close in several others. I think it's pretty cool, I never came in here thinking oh, I'm going to be in the, the record books. Um, <laughs> um, I think I just came in knowing what my strengths were and coach kind of honed, honed those in. I was really surprised about the three point record, I think that's pretty cool. Even with all of these achievements, McCorkle won't be fully satisfied without a return to the NCAA tournament. I think going to the tournament uh, my sophomore year, um, it was an amazing experience and I really hope that we can do it again. It would. It would mean everything. <laughs> Everyone's got their role, and I think if we if we all do our role to the best of our, our ability, then there's nothing that can stop us. While McCorkle intends to play professional basketball, she also has a plan for after her athletic career. I would like to go back home, and I want to try and get into law school, um, and hopefully go into family law eventually. I really want to try and play in Europe professionally. Um, but if I don't get a contract there, hopefully I can play somewhere at home. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Caleb Olin.